This is Lewis Hart for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined with the gorilla Darren Till for the first time. Um, yeah, we're here for a, obviously a big fight for yourself, um, Tommy Fury on the January 18th at the Carp Arena. Um, before we do go into that, how's things, mate? How are you? Not too bad. Just out here, just living my life, living my best life, innit? Absolutely, and, and it's a best life for yourself. Obviously, a massive fight against Tommy Fury. Um, I think it's one of the ones that sort of came around. I don't know we probably were doing a negotiation for a while, but it caught a lot of people by surprise. Um, so yeah, like, I guess what were sort of the first initial feelings when you know Tommy Fury, Corporina, massive event. Like, what were them first feelings for yourself when it did first come around? Not really. It didn't really. I, I, a lot of fights have fell through, so uh, it didn't really hold me breath on whether it was going to happen or not. Fucking sorry about this. Fucking hell. Some random I don't know who that was. Don't know who that was. I guess from random phones. Eh uh, until anything was signed on the dotted line, I wasn't talking about it. To be honest with you, I wanted to see if it would happen. I obviously signed my part the one, but yeah, I knew they would probably like moan at shit and that because that's what they do. John likes to moan. Tommy just hasn't got really nothing going up up there, has he? So yeah, and then when it got signed, it was good to announce it after the, the, the big Jake Paul, Mike Tyson fight on it, so yeah. You've been at Rotunda for a long time, training there for quite some time now, and I know you've been sort of calling for the big fights, calling for these boxing fights. Has it been a bit of a frustrating time? Like, as you, as you say, you've had that apprehension where you don't know if fights going, has it been frustrating? Yeah, it has, yeah. I've, uh, I've been frustrated, yeah. Been at the Rotunda two years, I probably could have fought my first month. Uh, I was mixing in with all the boxes and there, I was having no problems at all. But obviously fights just kept falling through and uh, yeah, so I just like, I lost my spark a little bit this year. I was just like, oh, I can't really be arsed fucking messing about and that. But you know, now it's a, it's a really big fight in this space against the, uh, what you call it, what's his face? Tommy. Fury, yeah. yeah, Tommy. So big old Tommy. What do you make of that dynamic of, I guess, fighting a Fury? You know, it's it's no secret. It isn't just Tommy like that comes along. You know, you've got John, you've got Tyson. They're not exactly the, the most quiet people in the world. Yeah. So is that something you sort of look forward to? I'm not asked really. Just like Tyson's all right. John just likes to scream and shout and doesn't do anything about it. And Tommy, as I said, he's just he's a bit of an empty head. Tommy, and he so yeah. Tyson Fury's obviously boxing royalty, so they all come from royalty. Yeah. But it doesn't really ask me. I don't. Uh, boxers don't threaten me, unfortunately. I come from MMA. And, and just touch on that there. Like, what is this transition, I guess, like for yourself now? Where you was competing at, at such a high level in the UFC, and, and, and you was sort of a you know a top welterweight middleweight for such a long time. And now step, stepping into the boxing arena, almost sort of taking. You know, I'm sure MMA isn't a closed chapter in there. But has it been? How have you enjoyed that transition? I guess. Yeah, I've enjoyed. It. I've enjoyed doing new things, uh, not being so hard on my body. Uh, yeah, it's all been fun. It's been fun learning a few things from a few top world-class boxers as well, just watching what they do, how they move, the training aspect as well. So yeah, uh, it's been a fun two years. It's had a good time. From just the boxing trainer last year, do you find much of a benefit? Because I think you know it's pretty open. You've been open in the MMA career about how brutal it was in your body. I know yeah. you spoke about the Brunson fight and the Whitaker fight and this and that. Um, so have you, thought, have you felt, I guess, it's been a little bit sort of less taxing as, as per se? Yeah, it's less, it, it is less taxing on your body. Uh, it's uh, I'd say the training's easier. To, it's easier to train for, but it's probably harder in the fight because you're taking so many punches to the head. That's obviously long-term effects, CT and stuff like that, brain damage. But the training's quite quite easy on your body. You can get away with a lot more, which is good. When you're fighting that high-level competition that you have, you know guys like Brunson, Robert Whittaker, and that. I know it's in a it's in a different combat sport, but do you feel like that experience plays dividends in a fight like with Tommy yeah, Fury? Of course, yeah. I've been to the deep waters, I've been to the trenches, I've had someone elbow me in the face and kick me in the so you can see I've got scars all over me, so yeah, I I know to deal with shit like that. So boxing's not a boxing's unfortunately not gonna worry me. And if it does I'll just take him down. I guess for, <laughs> for yourself, do you find it like easier training because you know you haven't got to worry about takedowns? Like, like you can, I know you come from a Muay Thai background, but can you really just focus on yeah. the hands in a way? Yeah, it's easier. It is. There's a lot going on in MMA. There's a lot you need to train for, especially at the high level. A final one for myself, and I'm, I'm sure it's not a question that most people will ask, but with it being in this circuit and that, obviously we did have Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. Um, I don't know sort of what your thoughts on it or, or the whole situation. Like I know you said you're pretty open about not watching it, but what's your main takeaway? I guess when you look at it from like a the event perspective, View, viewing figures is good. Good to bring audiences in. Always agree with that. You know the younger generation and shit. So 
as long as I've got the view viewing figures, that's all right by me. But again, it's just there. Uh, I don't know what I was doing when the fight was on, but I weren't watching the fight, so I wasn't asked. If I wasn't fighting Tommy, I wouldn't even watch my own fight. Yeah, that's fair enough. Darren, always a pleasure, mate. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Cheers. Right, so grab a